1 Timothy 6. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation, into a snare, into many senseless and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evils. It is through this craving that some have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many pangs. theory that a shadowy elite of bankers and businessmen and politicians and media moguls are secretly controlling the governments of the world. They start the wars, they cause the famines, they control the governments, they choose the presidents, both candidates, they tell them what to do. They're setting up the one world in Britain order. have heard of the Bilderberg Group. In America, anywhere around the world, the Bilderberg Group, what's that? Well, and I understand that. No one ever talks about it, really. But I've talked to journalists about the Bilderberg Group. Bilderberg Group, what's that? I haven't got a bloody clue. So, isn't it funny that the Bilderberg Group seems to be rather influential? Tony Blair, Bilderberg Group. Gordon Brown, Bilderberg Group. Leading players in the present British government. Now, of course, the opposition chancellor, uh, to Gordon Brown was Kenneth Clark, Bilderberg Group. 
Let's look at the head of the World Bank, James Wolfenson, Bilderberg Group. Let's look at the first two heads of the World Trade Organization, Peter de Sutherland of Ireland and Renato Ruggiero of Italy, Bilderberg Group. Wherever you look, this thing comes up and no one's ever friggin' heard of it. got an email through from New York saying, you know, how can you allow these people to meet in your country? And I sent an email back to the guy and said, who are they? I never heard of them. Who were Bilderberg? He sent me back some information and found that this was um, rather tip of an iceberg. So are you finding yourself thinking of conspiracy theories? I find myself out of my depth, actually. Uh, yes, you, you, if 10% of these people came to this country in the normal way, it would be in all the newspapers. What is the agenda that we shouldn't know? These are powerful people. They have the ability to steer the way the world will go. These are powerful people. They have the ability to steer the way the world will go. These are powerful people. They have the ability to steer the way the world will go. A lot of Christians believe that we are in end times. And the Bible generally talks of the way that the world will move. Um, a sense of disorder. Uh, of, of children not respecting their parents, of extreme. And it, it would appear to suggest also that we move towards the forming of a very powerful group. Do you think Paul's getting a bit carried away thinking this is... Well, this I consider the bad guys now. I don't know if, if uh, they're actually Satanist or not. We're not Satanist. I mean, we're, we're talking actually Satan, you know, himself. Does Paul think that uh, this is some kind of biblical prophecy being fulfilled? Uh -huh. I don't know. I really don't know. Gentlemen, as a symbol of our new tenfold global unity, I have great pleasure in presenting you with this enduring image. pleased and proud to announce a seven-year peace treaty that not only secures the borders of Israel, but grants to the Palestinian people an independent state. Revelation 11. Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff, and I was told, Rise, and measure the temple of God, and the altar, and those who worship there. But do not measure the court outside the temple, leave that out, for it is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. John 14 I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does take place you may believe. Ephesians 6 for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places.
Alaska 10024. Albert Gibson, 349.